America's top negotiator has made a bold promise. Not only will the U.S. bring home the recently detained Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich, but Paul Whelan as well. The former was detained in Russia two weeks ago while on a reporting trip. Russia has accused him of espionage, but the U.S. says he is being wrongfully detained. Gershkovich has yet to be visited by U.S. embassy officials as the U.S. struggles to gain consular access from Russia. It's hard to get consular access. Is it just the nature of you being detained? I mean, it's it's been however long since you've been detained now and still there's nothing. That's a great question for uh, Russian officials. Uh, It's not for lack of trying, I can assure you that. The State Department's been trying to get consular access to him since the moment we found out that he was detained. Roger Carstens is the special presidential envoy for hostage affairs. In a series of television interviews Wednesday, Carstens said the U.S. was continuing to push for access and that the U.S. has owed as much under international law. Carstens also discussed Whelan, who has been detained in Russia since 2018 on espionage charges. He notably was not a part of last year's prisoner swap that brought women's basketball star Brittany Griner back to the U.S. from Russia. Karsten said he spoke with Whelan earlier this week and that the U.S. has, quote, a significant offer on the table and, quote, to bring Whelan home. At Straight Arrow News, we help you cut through the noise and break free from the mainstream. How do we do that? By utilizing our Media Mist tool, we'll show you what the liberal and conservative outlets aren't reporting. To check it out, head to straightarrownews.com.